Jimmy, obviously not not the result you guys are looking for. What, what do you take away from this game, and and what did you uh, what did you see on on those final throws you were trying to make on the last few drives or the last drive? Uh, well, yeah, obviously not the way we wanted to start start the season, but um, you know there were some positives to take out of this game. You know, uh, thought the running backs played really well, uh, did their part up front. I think we held our own. Those guys did great, uh, but it's just uh, you know executing. Every little detail on every single play. I think just uh, the consistency for our offense, uh, I think just needs to improve. Hey, hey Jimmy, uh, George was very active in, in the first half. He did get a little dinged up um, before halftime. Um, uh, do you know if he was affected by that? Did they change how they were dealing with him uh, in the second half when he wasn't targeted? Uh, no, I don't think it affected him. Uh, George, you know, he's he's a warrior, man. He fights through a lot, of, a lot of injuries, a lot of little nicks and bumps, but you know, it didn't affect him at all. Uh, they were they were cheating a lot of coverage to him and you know, putting some extra people on him, so it made it a little little difficult at times. But uh, yeah, I thought he played a hell of a game. Jimmy, how would you assess your own performance? Uh, and then, what did the Cardinals do to make their coverage? I guess they they struggled last year in coverage, and they seem to improve today. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, personally, just the consistency, uh, you know, making every drive as perfect as we possibly can. Uh, you know, you just want to eliminate errors, really. It's what it comes down to. And just everyone being on the same page, you know, seeing the same picture. And uh, I think we'll be good from there. But I think it's just, um, you know, when it comes to third down, red zone, things like that, we just have to execute at the end of the day. Jimmy, it had been seven months since the Super Bowl, and you tried to rally the team at the end of that one. As you're getting to the end of this game, were you kind of relishing being back in that situation where you could you know, try to pull out a last gas drive and get into that red zone? Yeah, I mean, we, we were in that situation plenty of times last year. Uh, you know, it's just when you get into those situations, uh, obviously it was a little different today without the crowd. Uh, just that feel, that game day feel, was, it just wasn't there. But, um, you know, it just comes down to execution, like I said, especially when it comes in the last couple of minutes like that. Uh, every play is crucial, every yard's crucial, and just uh, – we didn't execute when we needed to. Hey, Jimmy, obviously it wasn't the result you wanted, but can you talk a little bit about what it was like to just get back on the field and play in a game after such a strange off season and everything that went on? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, to get out there with the guys and, you know, with no preseason, obviously this is a little different field than usual, but it, it felt good to get back out there with everyone. You know, there was juice in the locker room, juice in the sideline. Uh, obviously, like I said, a little different without the crowd and everything. We miss the faithful out there, but it's uh, it is what it is, and we gotta make the best of the situation now. Jimmy, it seemed like that fourth down throw to Trent Taylor was a little bit late. Um, do you agree with that? And if so, was finding a rhythm difficult to uh, to do today? Uh, yeah, I think you know the the throw. DB made a nice play, guys. Hand on it, last second. You got to tip your hat to him. But uh, yeah, I don't think we got into a very good rhythm. Uh, just one drive would be great. One drive would be not so good. And just uh, like I said, I said this earlier, but the consistency—that's uh, what wins games in football, especially in the NFL. It's just the more consistent you could be, uh, starting with myself. I mean, it's just—it's uh, going to make everything a lot easier. Hey, Jimmy, when you take a look at what you did today, what were things that I know, what's the most, I guess, the biggest play you want to have back? Say that one again, sorry. When you look at what you've done, the, the game today, what's the play that you would really most like to have back? Um, I can't, I, I would have to go watch the film. Uh, I can't really put my finger on one right now, but it's just, uh, I mean, there's a number of them, you know, missed throws, missed opportunities. Uh, just uh we usually make and so uh you know you got to take it for what it is uh look at the film be hard on yourself and like we always are and move on you know it's uh you gotta use the 24-hour rule hey jimmy can you just walk us through the throw to kb in the corner at the end there and was he the initial read on that play yeah yeah he he was uh there's a couple different options but yeah kb just uh i left that one just a hair short uh that's one I wish I had back, but just, um, you know, when you get opportunities like that, you got to take advantage of them. Hey, Jimmy, 
it seemed like early in the game, part of the game plan was to attack rookie linebacker Isaiah Simmons. And kind of as the game went on, uh, you guys seemed to go away from that. Was there anything specific they took away or, or did something change there? Uh, no, no, it was uh, our game plan. It, it is what it is. You know, I think Kyle did a great job calling it, putting us in good situations as players. And uh, you know, we just got to go execute. But it wasn't uh, specifically targeted at him or anything like that. But um, it kind of turned out that way, I guess.